Welcome Gemini's. I'm back y'all with another video. Another video for y'all. Okay. This is going to be a weekly video. Okay. So from November the 17th through the 25th guys. Yes. For my Gemini's. Let's see what energy we got coming towards y'all. All right, we're going to try to cleanse, do a little cleanse here. I'll do a cleanse and see what we get, okay? Thank you. Thank you. What message is there for Gemini's? For the week ahead, November 17th through the 25th. If you are new to the channel, welcome guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. I would love to have you here in our community, guys. Go ahead and click the bell to subscribe, okay? And so you'll get the notifications for when I post, okay? So, Gemini's, let's see what we got for y'all this week. I'm hoping that it's something good. Because the past couple of readings have been really good, so... I'm hoping that things are picking up. We are out of, I think it's Mercury retrograde. I think Mercury went direct or Mars. One of them. One of them is direct. I just can't um, think of it on the top of my head right now. But I'm thinking that is Mars. Which is the planet of action. So things are starting to pick up, okay? So let's see what we got. I think the last read that I had with you guys, you guys were... Um, I think it was a pretty decent reading. I think you guys are releasing and letting go of what no longer serves you. Um, and being okay with that. I think a lot of y'all are starting fresh. So let's see what we get for this week right here. What message is there? Did y'all catch somebody in a lie? I just saw the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Okay. Let's see. Or some of y'all thinking somebody is lying or being sneaky. Ooh. <laughs> At the bottom, guys, we got the Seven of Cups and the Lovers, which is you guys' energy, okay? Let's see what we got going on here. What is going on? All right, let's see. Okay, the Ace of Pentacles. The Seven of Cups. All right. Okay, the Lovers. Ooh, okay. <laughs> All right, the Two of Cups. Woo! Yes, I'm loving it. The Justice card. Woo! Okay, Four of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. They both jumped out. Okay. Oh, baby. Baby. <laughs> Gemini. Is that Gemini in me? Got a split personality. You see the Jekyll and Hyde in me. I'm a provider, G. Bills paid on the first, you see. You keep a pocket full of currency. You said you'll never leave. Now you trying to turn your back on me. I understand you've got no trust in me. But I'll change for you. If you promise that you'll stay with me. Please accept my apology. <laughs> Gemini, Gemini. Alright, let's do it. Baby. You are on to better things, okay? It looks like you guys are getting some offers, some love offers, some different options, different opportunities are coming your way. You don't want to talk about nothing in the past, okay? 
that that thing that you was in for some of you it was a marriage it was a living situation you've been with this person for a long time that shit drove you mad okay so right now you are very very focused on your pentacle for some of you you could have been dealing with the king of pentacles virgo taurus capricorn but you you know i feel like you cried some tears i feel like You've been through some pain. You you know what I'm saying? Like, this is a real, you know, this is how you truly feel about it, how you view it. I'm getting like this. This is like a sad story. And, you know, you, were, you felt trapped. You felt stuck in a situation that you didn't really want to be in, okay? And I, I feel like now you are, this is what you're looking for. You're looking for a Ten of Cups energy, okay? Queen of Cups, you want somebody loving and caring who's going to cater to your emotions, your feelings. Like you want, you want someone that genuinely cares for you next to you. Okay, I feel like what you was dealing with someone who was very extremely toxic, possibly possessive, jealous, <clears throat> just possibly uh, you know abusing drugs or you know drinks a lot. Um, you were very attached to this toxic behavior even like you know the sex you know uh we got the devil and the ace of cups i just feel like there was a lot of toxic emotions for some of you there was an attachment because you know the sex was possibly good okay but i feel like right now you feel like you made the best decision for you okay we got the ace of pentacles that's you giving your best okay so this is your best and this is a golden opportunity a new opportunity, something for something new, okay? Page of Cups. For some of you, you're talking to someone new. This person could be an Aries, but this person is could be older, okay? Someone could be older. Your intuition could be telling you to wait to, you know, communicate to this person or give this person, you know, the tea, possibly about your ex. This King of Wands here, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Um, there's some there could have been like a cheating story. Why is the Page of Cups here? Some of you prayed like y'all had to pray your way up out of this. Y'all had to pray your way up out of that old energy because it was that bad. Yeah, see, I'm feeling like a lot of y'all prayed y'all way up out of there. Okay, you've moved on. You've asked God to remove people that are no longer for you, who doesn't benefit you in a in a good, healthy way. You're, you know, and you've been waiting for, for God to show you, you know, you've been waiting. For some of you as well, like you're waiting to tell this other person. I feel like some of y'all got other options. You're waiting to tell this person, you know, like talk about your past. But hold on before you do that. Okay, because a lot of times it's not a good uh, a good idea to let new people in on the past, okay? For one, a lot of men don't really know what to do. They just take note from the what happened to you before, and they try to give you that same energy, you know? Um, so be careful with that. I, me personally... I mean, okay, if you knew the if the person knew who your ex was or something like that and they knew you or something like that and you know, they knew a little bit about what was going on. Okay, then I can see you kind of like speaking on it, but just because I I mean, I feel like you know, they don't need to know. You don't need to reopen that wound, okay? You could just say, you know, hey. It wasn't it wasn't all of that, you know. We just decided to go our separate ways. Okay, so seven of cups. It looks like some of y'all have decided, you know, made you know made that decision, looked at all of your options, and decided to move on. You got better things, you know. You got better things to do, better things to talk about. Yes, you feel like this was the best decision. See, with the Six of Wands and the Seven of Cups, you feel like you made the best decision, which I feel like you did too. Okay, yeah, I feel like you did too. I feel like you made the best decision for you, okay? We got the lovers up here. This is you guys' energy, okay? Knight of Swords. 
Queen of Pentacles. You're focused on your money, your bag, you know, securing, securing the bag. King of Wands wants to reveal itself. You could have been dealing with a uh, fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Um, I'm getting like someone, uh, I'm getting like you feel like, you know, I'm going to make this person. They're going to apologize to me. I feel like you're spying on someone as well, too. Like, to, you know, checking on them to see if they're sorry yet. If they want to get together or come together to argue. I feel like this is what, this is the toxic cycle, what it is. Like, I'm getting that there's a lot of gossip or he say, she say, especially with the page of swords and the three of cups here. This, you know, lets me know that there is some, some, you know, some tea being spilled, some gossiping going on. But you feel like maybe like this person wants to argue, you know, trying to get you over there so they can argue about something, about something that somebody told them or whatever, whatever. I don't feel like you have the time for it, Okay. You don't have the time for it. Ace of Swords. This is clarity. Okay. King of Pentacles. We got the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles here. I'm getting like you're hoping that something... You're hoping the truth is revealed or... You're hoping that this uh could be an herb sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You're hoping that they're telling the truth, okay? I'm getting, like, about finances, okay? Okay, because you're getting, you're getting uh, tired of wait. Something, you've been waiting on something. Maybe waiting on some type of clarity for a while. You were getting real tired of waiting. Yeah, like you was waiting, like what's take I'm I'm hearing what's take taking so long. Why is the two of cups here? The moon. I got the hiccups all of a sudden. For some of you, this was a relationship that was kept kept was supposed to be kept a secret. Somebody wanted to keep this relationship a secret. We could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. And this made you feel left out. Like it, you, Somebody wanted to keep this a secret. Maybe you wanted to keep this, wanted to keep this a secret about your decision making. Okay? A decision that you wanted to make or that you did make. I feel like a lot of y'all have already made the decision. And you feel like it was the best decision for you. Okay? Um, I feel like you was kind of like, you know, keeping your, trying to keep your uh, relationship a secret. People want to be, you know, all in your business, but I feel like sometimes you feel like, you know, um, if people don't see you or don't know what's going on, then you feel like you, you know, aren't fitting in or you feel rejected, left out in the cold. Yeah. There's this devil again, okay? So, I feel like, oh, I'm getting like a devil in disguise. The star and temperance and the devil. The star and temperance to me is like an angel. And then we got the devil right here. And it's like, watch out for snakes. We got the nine of wands here. It's like, watch out for the devil, for the the snake dressed in sheep's clothing or whatever the saying is. Um, I'm feeling like you feel like you got to watch your back. I feel like something you wanted to keep something a secret. Keep people out your business. Justice. Why is the justice card here? Ten of swords. For some of you, there is an ending here or you completely ended something for some of you it's a divorce okay but you're keeping your eye on something here could be dealing with the court system okay justice being served um karma karmic energy why is the page of swords here
Knight of Pentacles. And this, you know, we got the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands here as well. Could be definitely dealing with the fire sign. But I'm just getting like you're wondering like what's taking so long. The process for something took a long time. And it could be for you to get out of this cycle. Like, you know, it took a while. It, it was definitely a process that took some time to get out of. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting that you was forced to leave. Like you felt like something okay, what I'm seeing here as well too, past energy. You felt like something wasn't fair. Okay. The Ten of Swords and the Justice card. You felt like justice was not served. Okay. And someone I'm getting like there's two sides to the story. Okay. And I'm getting like somebody forced somebody out. Like you feel forced out of the situation. Okay. And why is the seven of wands here? Oh yeah, I'm getting like you were forced out, like you felt pushed away. Five of Wands, yeah. I'm getting that there was a struggle. Okay, with the Seven of Wands and the Five of Wands. There was some type of struggle, okay? Some type of battle, struggle, disagreement, argument, fight, even a fight. But I'm just getting like you, you know, felt like something wasn't fair. There's two sides to a story. Some of you may decide to walk out before things get too out of hand. But for future energy, we got the four of pentacles. So you're still holding on to something here. You're holding on to something, but then again, you want something new. Like, you got to make up your mind. Okay? Knight of Wands. Woo! Nah, y'all are getting some... Y'all are... Y'all messing around. <laughs> I'm getting... You didn't cut off. I'm hearing. Don't cut off you know, your, your flings. So some of y'all are out, you know, you're still hanging on to your flings. That's why I felt like some of y'all are, you know, like y'all got options. You got options. Like the situation from the past, you know, you don't really want to talk about it. You know, you want to move forward, but I'm definitely getting, <laughs> some of you is with the Sagittarius. Okay. Like I'm getting like, you still hang on to this person. You still hang on to this person. This is this isn't someone that you just met. This is someone that either has came back around or has came like came back in the picture. Someone that you've been holding, like keeping in the cut. Okay. That you get some cutty from. Okay. Could be a Sagittarius. Um, and you may feel like this person, you know, is you know, secure. This person may have a little bit of coin. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? The Empress, yes. So, like, you're feeling yourself, okay? You're feeling yourself. You feeling yourself, you're feeling good. Like, it's like, yeah, I'm about to get me some, I'm about to get, for some of you, it's some new, new, okay? That Ace of Wands could be, you know, some new energy. But some of y'all are, you know, had this one in the cut. <laughs> and you, you happy, like, you get it, and you, <laughs> It changed your mood. Like, it changed your whole mood. It changed your perspective. Like, it must was... Y'all getting ready to get into something good. Okay? Because it's changing your vibe. It's refreshing your vibe. It's, it's giving you a different vibe. Like, it's helping you vibe. Like, this is a... And I'm getting like this person is older. Um, male or female. But this person makes you so happy. Okay? Somebody here could be married or they live with someone. Be careful with that, too. And somebody was saying, like, we, you know, let's wait until you're single. But somebody here want to sneak around. <laughs> somebody here want to sneak around. <laughs> so you feeling like this was the best decision I could have ever made. Like, I feel like y'all are, are, you know, happy single. For my single ones, like, every Gemini isn't single, 
but for the ones that are like and you know you're coming out of a of a rough situation and you're enjoying you know the single life and i don't care what nobody say y'all readings was you know was a bit tumultuous for the past couple of months so i'm happy to see it i'm happy to see the growth <laughs> I'm just, that's just where I'm at with it. Like, have fun. You know? It's been rough. What message is there for my Gemini? Give me a message, please, for Gemini. Okay, we got align your life. What is not aligned or needs to change? Okay, so you may need to readjust. You may need to, you know, get aligned. Okay, you gotta have to look things over. Look at what serves you, what no longer is serving you. Like, get aligned, okay? And for some of you, it may be time to take some type of break. A break period here. We got a life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. Okay, get off the treadmill, take a break. Okay, some of you guys need to rest. Okay, you need to rest. Um, give your body some time to you know to heal and you know give yourself time. And what I'm what I did notice that some of y'all got out of something and jumped into something else. Okay, so spirit is saying, you know, it's okay to you know have fun, but make sure that you're in a good place spiritually, mentally, physically. Okay, um, stop overthinking. Okay, stop overthinking as well. Give me one more card for Gemini's, please. Thank you. The crumbling. What are you clinging on to? What are you clinging on to? There's something that you know, this is the tower card, so you know, there's there still could be things or feelings or thoughts that you could still be holding on to. That could be holding you back, okay? It's time to let things that no longer serve you go. It already We already said that. It's time to align your life. For some of you, we got inner temple, devotion. Tune into your portal of your heart. It's time for you guys to devote things to... devote. Be devoted to yourself, okay? For some of you, this is about being spiritually in tune, okay? For some of you, getting an altar set up, um, a place that you go worship and, you know of where you take care of yourself where you heal a safe place okay this energy is very beautiful i feel like this is right on point for gemini just based off of the reasons that i've been doing for gemini's and i feel like i'm connecting to um specific group of people when it comes to gemini's for sure for sure because for the past couple of months I've been getting, it's like, I've watched you guys' growth. Like, I've seen where you guys could have possibly been in a really, really, you know, jacked up place. And it's like, every time I did, every time I did um, another reading, it's like, you guys have grown. There's been constant progress. Um, so, I'm very, very, very happy to hear that and to see that, okay? And I wish you all the best. Um, for the ones who are looking for, you know, protection um, against evil eye, protection against jealousy and hate and things to that nature, this is a really good item to have. This is the Hamsa Evil Eye Bracelet, guys. This item is available on the website. This is a top seller. It's been selling out since I, I can't, I, I'm trying to keep it in stock. Um, but this is definitely going to be good for protection, okay? You can get this for your children, the people that you love, okay? And just wear it daily, okay? It's going to, you know, keep you protected. I have this on the shop as well. As all of the oils, we got the goddess oil, the money magnet oil, and the big bags oil. That's back in stock, guys. So you can check out the website. All of that information is going to be in the drop box below, 
Um, if you would like to book your very own personal reading with me, I'm doing 10 minutes for $20, okay? So if you would like to book a personal reading with me, that information is in the drop box below as well, okay? I'm going to chat with y'all later, all right? Until next time, my loves. Ciao for now.